How does somebody get started in missions? Where can I look if I'm interested in cross-cultural missions, but I don't know where to begin? These are questions that I asked, and I'm guessing, I'm hoping, that you or someone you know is asking them too. Hi, my name is PJ Homertz, and I'm the short-term guy for Africa Inland Mission. I wanna share with you a little bit more about my story and how God used short-term missions to weave my story into the global story of outreach that God is doing around the world. I was born and raised in the suburbs of Des Moines, Iowa. And before you ask, yes, Des Moines, Iowa does have suburbs. I loved hearing stories of missionaries that were bringing the good news of Jesus Christ all around the world to places that had no access to it. And I wanted to be a part of that story, but where do you even start with that? Well, I started with my high school youth group, learning and growing there. I also was involved in short-term missions trips to Mexico in high school. These two-week trips were a great way to experience some of the language challenges. It didn't really help me see exactly where I could fit, but it was a start. Well, after high school, I went off to Bible college, and that was a great thing. But it still didn't really clarify exactly what it would look like to do life on the mission field. After college, I married the love of my life, and we began to work together to see how God could use our story in his global story. Shortly after we were married, we had the opportunity to do a two-month short-term mission with Africa Inland Mission. We led a team of 11 short-termers into Kibera, a slum right outside of Nairobi, Kenya. We worked alongside our African brothers and sisters to share the gospel and the hope of Jesus Christ. We had struggles and challenges, but we also had incredible joys. And most of all, we saw what it was like to live and work cross-culturally and how our skills and gifts could be used in missions. And a few years later, God called us back to Nairobi, Kenya into a role that we knew would be a perfect fit. At that point, we had a five-year-old and a three-year-old, but we sold all of our stuff and we packed up our 12 pieces of luggage and we moved in Nairobi, Kenya. And there we had opportunities to pour into the lives of hundreds of short-termers as they came to support ongoing ministry while also looking for their fit in God's global plan. Whether their time on the field was an incredible blessing or whether it was a real challenge, each one of them was able to see how their story, how the things that God was doing in their lives connected with his global work. For many, it was a critical step towards meaningful engagement in cross-cultural ministry, just like it was for me. I'm so excited for more people to have that same experience, for people to discover how their stories could be used by God in his global plan. So if you're wondering how your story could be a part of God's global rescue story, keep watching our social media feeds. Maybe it's time for you to take your first steps. Maybe it's time for you to go on a short-term mission with Africa Inland Mission and see what God is doing and how your unique gifts and skills can be used to bring the gospel to the hardest to reach places. Thank you.